Hi, everyone. I am Kezia Paturi, Product Management Director here at Order. Uh, with me today is Pandian, our co-founder and Chief Product Officer. Uh, we're here to share some really exciting new features that were introduced in our re recent release 8.1, uh, particularly around uh, simplifying operations for hospitals of all sizes. Uh, we'll talk uh, more about the grouping of devices that's going to achieve the simplification. But Pandian, if you can start off by talking a little bit about the new customization in the location uh, area. Thank you. Thank you, Kazia. So yes, we are very excited. We posted a major new release, 8.1 Clinical Defender, two, three weeks back. Our customers are adopting it. Everybody is excited. Today, we want to talk to you about one function that makes the entire operation simplified. The fundamental philosophy about this is when a person logs in, the platform customizes to what the roles and responsibilities of that function, person, and then presents data to his needs of everyday operation, bringing the power of personalization to every individual that is operating in the platform. So let's start with location. So you know, the platform can customize it based on region and location. And location has got many different ways of obtaining it. You can get location simply by the sensor that gathers data. You can get location through RTLS. For example, if a nurse is looking for an infusion pump, that's very powerful RTLS micro location. If there is a security guy, he is looking after some malware. You want to know exactly which switch and which AP that it is connected to so that we can go down to that particular switch port and then disable that switch. If you are a network administrator, you probably want some information like VLAN and SSID based location. So there is many, many ways of doing location. We are keeping all the locations alone and we still have locations like this is this building, this floor, this ward, this is east, this is west. All of that location coming from network management systems and all of that is still preserved. But what we are trying to do is we are trying to give a location as a system field for users to do in an administrative way based on the region and location, and they can completely customize it and change it. For example, if I click on Midwest, then apply, I am customizing the dashboard to, to the devices in Midwest. And on top of it, I am probably not worried about uh, you know Kansas City. I want to look at these two things, and then I can go and look at the devices in those two locations inside the region. Extremely powerful that the the whole thing customizes the entire product customizes, and all the ninety screens that you are going to see in this platform will only operate on this one thousand seven hundred and thirty two devices. Extremely powerful. And that's that's great. And beyond the location, now there's different ways to organize, assign, which makes more sense to individual business, right? Yep, and yep. can you share that a little bit? Yes. So so it's not just a location. Now I'm talking about power of personalization, bring the data to me that is relevant to me, right? Remember, we already have you know groups like I can only bring data on medical devices to certain people. And then if I have HTM, you know, remember, HTM is not necessarily just medical. They might own some other printers and phones and that building, research desktops and whatnot. So when I am assigned to an HTM department ownership, then I am customizing it for the 8,000 devices that the HTM owns. And then this is sticky every morning when the HTM person comes in, they can look at these devices. But if you want to go even more fine green and then say, hey, what is the cost center that it is? this device is belonging to, right? I mean, this is uh, labor and delivery, this is nuclear radiation, this is operation, this is pediatric, this is production, emergency, pharmacy, all of that cost center. And then finally, the support person, right? If I am the support person and I am assigned a whole bunch of devices to go and take care, if I am a CT scan kind of guy, I'm taking care of CT scan and I'm given certain set of uh, CD scans, then assign me as the support person for that set of CD scans. And then I can go into it every morning and only those devices will be there. You can manage, monitor, you can uh, think about recalls, vulnerability, all of that. So the platform customizes it to each individual according to their organizational hierarchy 
as well as their roles and responsibilities on their daily life. Super exciting and very powerful. Yes, absolutely. That's a lot of options. Uh, but can you share a little bit more on how we're mapping all of these fields that we're collecting? Yes, thank you. So I think because it's a business function group, it is administratively decided. So let me give you some ideas on how we have made it extremely flexible. So <clears throat> if you go into our settings, um, so if you go into uh, data mapping, so see here, asset support staff, assigned to support person, asset cost center, assigned to cost center, asset business function, assigned to ownership. So <clears throat> you can take this left of the fields from CMDB, CMMR, CSV, and then manual overrides and all of that, and then assign to this field so that you know this flag of whatever devices in the asset that says assert support staff, it will come here with respect to all the variable support person, it will migrate over. So it's extremely flexible. The second thing that we can do is when you are thinking about using this business function objects, you, you can completely customize it. We have given you generally three things. So instead of support person, somebody wants to track hospital ID, right? <clears throat> somebody wants to track you know, ER, OR versus regular ward, you know, however they want to do it. I think this is extremely flexible because as long as you define the scope of that particular, uh, you know, that particular variable, then the business function grouping will happen naturally. So there is a cost center and ownership. As soon as you map it, then when I go back into the dashboard, then all these three, three variables will come into, come into picture, support person, cost center, ownership. But if you want to call this hospital ID, and if you want to call this, you know, some other business function group that you want research, if you want to call this, I don't know, data center servers, however you want to group the various devices, it's completely flexible and we have a mechanism to do that. And um, as you said, there is some flexibility in how the privileges are assigned, right? It's not like HTM person only can see particular set of devices, right? Yep, yep. So let me let me get into it. So we have a very sophisticated role-based access control. And if I go into the account creation, there are hard partitions and soft partitions. Let's talk about hard partition. You want certain group of people to access only to certain screens and certain groups of devices and certain business function groups, then you can completely do that customization. For example, if you go into the manage scope, and if you if you look at if you look at that, you can create a new scope and say you know exactly what types of devices that particular scope has. Because if you assign the scope to that particular role to the user, they only get inheritance about this particular type of devices and nothing else. So you have a dimensionality. First dimension is the types of devices that they can see. Second dimension is the region, location, area that you can see. And the third is based on your business grouping, you know, depending on the support person that we have assigned it today. So different, different support people can see their own devices or a group of support people can see group of their own devices. And then the cost center, if you're working in pharmacy or anything, you only see certain devices. If you're working in, you know, uh, human resources, you see certain devices. If you are working in operating room, then you can see those devices. And then device ownership, as I said before, if you're an HTM, you have certain visibility, you have IT certain visibility. This is hard partition. Once you define the role and assign it to the individuals, then they have no visibility into anything other than these devices. But if you want some administrative functionality, some managers, supervisors, higher level people who want to have visibility about a lot of different options, then they can go into the shaping screen and then say, hey, I want to see you know, not only my devices, but George's devices, Henry's devices. I want to see not only the cost center of pharmacy or nuclear medicine or operating room or you know, pediatric, I want to see everything. I want to see the ownership that even though I am HTM, but I am an administrator, that I want to see IT devices, we can do that. All of that is extremely flexibly possible. So we have designed it in such a way that for certain people, you give them a hard partition that they don't see anything else other than what they are responsible for. 
than their managers and the supervisors and the administrative functions, depending on how they are situated in the organization, you can open it up and give them broader view. And how broad the view it is? Is it at a regional level? Is it just medical? Or you just want to give a medical plus IT? All of that is completely flexible. That's great. Obviously, there's a great way to give uh, access to and customize how folks can um, access all this information, but it doesn't mean they can do whatever they want, right? No, no, no. Because yeah. So we just talked about business function grouping of different people having access to different set of devices based on what region they are in, what location, what hospital, what department they believe uh, belong to, what kind of work they do in terms of their role and whatnot. But we always had controls in our role-based access. And that's not something new, but it becomes a lot more elegant and a lot more visible. So for example, um, if I go into creating a new role, I can actually create a new role every time that we create a role. And then for example, I created Pandian HTM only, which means this is the role that I want to assign to certain biomed clinical engineers that are not security conscious or they're not IT conscious, but they are only working on devices and equipment on the tool. So if I click on it, we have a lot of controls. For example, in this, for example, Pandian HTM only, I did not give them any network level information. I did not give them any security or alarm information. For example, it will completely take the security page out and no risk and summary because you don't want to confuse them with all kinds of malware and phishing attacks and things like that. So that whole screen will go away. Account management, they can't just create more accounts on their own. They don't have privileges to see who is logging in, why they are doing. They are not having privileges to see see user information. For example, each machine is logged in by multiple doctors, nurses. They cannot kind of see that information even though we track them, right? You cannot, I gave them read only for data, but they cannot import, export. Maybe I can give them, you know, read, write in terms of import, export, IS, CSV or MDS2, and I can change it. And then behavioral policies, I have hidden it. Yeah, absolutely, they can do utilization data in terms of read, write or read only. So if I customize it and save it, then I, I get a completely customized role. And if I assign that role on top of the business function, they always have controls on another dimension. So you have business function grouping on what you can see where you are and then what you can do based on what you can see. So I think we have designed a system extremely flexible about it. Yeah, and obviously this is exciting, seems easy. Um, and also something that will work for small uh, hospitals, large hospitals. Um, what would be some of the key things you want to sort of part with saying this is yes. unique? Yes, uh, yes. So okay. let me let me first uh, uh, let me first uh, bring up one one very quick slide that we did, which is hey, this dimensionality is very, very powerful, right? Now you are talking about different regions, West, Mid, uh, Woodlands Campus, Sugarlands Campus. And then inside that, you're saying, hey, there's a medical devices, media devices, desktop devices, this kind of devices. And for each region and location, you can have your owner and a department, HTM, media, IT network. Because remember, not HTM, HTM doesn't just own medical. And then the media just doesn't own IP phone, things like that. There's a lot of things. And then you can go down into a cost center and clinic. Hey, this is oncology, this is neuro, this is pediatric, that is a building. And then finally comes down to support person. So when you log in, depending on where you work, what's your role, what is your interest, what is the functionality that you are trying to drive in this, you get a screen and you are presented with data that is extremely relevant and customized for you. We call it personalized dashboard, right? If I log in, I see devices that I am assigned to. I am working on monitoring. I'm working on utilization data for CapEx management. I'm working on vulnerability management to clear alarms and then call Philips for some patches, right? I am given certain tasks and I'm only working on that so that I don't get confused with lots of data in the system and then you know worry about it. As soon as I am done, every 30 days, I set up a goal, 60 days, I am done. You know this, uh, Then I can change my view so that I can go work on other set of devices. 
Yeah, so you get to to focus on things that are absolutely relevant to you, right? Yeah, highly customized to personalized dashboard for operational simplicity that brings data that you want to use so that you don't have to go look for data inside the system. Makes sense. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank you, Pandian. Uh, Thank you very much.